Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jay once again. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. And today's video is actually going to be shorter than most because what I wanted to do was show off a cool utility that I found online and I just wanted to let you guys know about it because maybe you'll benefit from it as well. It's actually called Cheat.sh. What is that? Well, let's go ahead and take a look right now. So here on my laptop, I have the website pulled up. The link will be in the show notes below, so don't worry too much about that. If you're on the right page, you should see this one right here. The name of this utility or application, wherever you want to call it, is Cheat.sh. And if you scroll down, you can basically get some information about it. You see a screenshot and it basically is telling you, and you can see that here in the header bar, the font isn't too small in the video, it says the only cheat sheet you need. Now I've gone over the man page basically in my videos before, you know how to use the man command, but what if you want something easy or simple and you don't want to have to actually go through 10 pages of man pages to find what you're looking for. Cheat.sh is an awesome tool that you can use to get information on various commands right in your terminal. So what I'm actually going to do is show you that right now. I have a terminal already open and I increased the font size so hopefully you guys can see this well in the video. And let's go ahead and just dive right in. So what we need to do first of all is make sure that we have the curl command available to us. So we do which curl and I do have that installed. I know that because I got output. If you did not have curl, you would not have seen any output with this command at all. So in that case, you would need to install curl with whatever your distribution package manager is. But I do have that already on my system. I'm running Manjaro right now and it uh, came default. So what I'm gonna do is show you how this works. So you do curl and then you simply do cheat.sh. I'll press enter. And wow, look at this. Uh, maybe I made the font size a bit too big, but basically we, you get a cheat sheet. It gives you some examples that you can use. So for example, if you want something on LS, you're, you wanna view the cheats for that, the LS command, you could do that. You can also do that for programming languages as well. So let's look at a few examples. I'll press the up arrow to recall that command and I'll just use the first example. Maybe I want to know more about the ls command. Everybody knows the ls command, but maybe there's some options we might want or some information here. So I'll just go ahead and add that, press enter. And take a look at this. It gives you some examples of the ls command and it's basically limiting this to the more useful examples. I mean, there's probably hundreds of variations of the ls commands or more, but here we see some commonly used variations of the ls command that is awesome. So let's go ahead and clear my screen here and I'll just go ahead and bring that back and I'll change this to something else. Let's try some something random. I'll just type Python, why not? Let's just see what happens. Wow, see, there you go. It's got some examples for Python. This is the Python interpreter itself, but you basically can get some information on how to do some things. You know, for example, it's even showing you how to set up an example web server with Python. That's awesome. So let's just change this to a Linux command. I'll use grep. I'm sure it has that. There you go. You have some options on grep. That's pretty useful. rsync is useful as well. Let's go ahead and try that out here. And now we actually get some rsync examples as well. So as you can see, they really thought of a lot, if not everything. I mean, all the commands that I use that I've tried with this have worked just fine. And I wanted to make this video to spotlight this because, you know, there's a lot of useful utilities and open source solutions out there. You know, we don't always talk about them or share them with other people. And if I find something really cool, I'm gonna to try to make it a point to show you guys to spread awareness of it. It certainly helps the project, gets them additional exposure, and it helps you because you see another utility that you can use and put in your tool set that might come in useful or come in handy for you. So hopefully this is something that you might be able to benefit from. Just simply use curl and then use cheat.sh slash and then some kind of command and see what you come up with. If you need some examples on command usage, this might just be a way to do that. 
And the link is in the show notes for this project. I mean, that's not all it does. There's other things you can do. There's ways you can even download the script to your path, to store it locally, to you know use an alias, to shorten it. I mean, there's advanced things you can do as well. So definitely check out their Git page and see what else you could do with cheat.sh. So hope that was helpful for you guys. And I will have new videos on my channel coming up here pretty soon. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to help me out, go ahead and check out the links in the description below. And there you'll find a link to purchase my latest book, Mastering Ubuntu Server, Second Edition. You'll also find a link to my Patreon page, as well as my Amazon store, which includes a listing of Linux compatible hardware that I've tested personally. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.